Greetings, I'm Bill Brieger. I'm a professor in the Health Systems Program of the Department of International Health here at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. I also work with Johns Hopkins uh, NGO affiliate called Japigo as their uh, senior malaria uh, advisor. Uh, but actually before coming here, I worked 26 years in the African Regional Health Education Center at the University of Ibadan in Nigeria. And it was experiences there that uh, led me to develop this course and actually based on experiences in training village health workers, uh, not only in the communities around Ibadan, but also uh, helping with uh, training programs in other countries. And we still continue to do that through our work in Japigo. So what we're doing in this course is sharing these experiences with you and hopefully helping you to uh, gain some confidence in uh, developing your own village health worker or other kind of volunteer training programs. What we'll do in this course is go through the steps that are necessary to set up a training program. Uh, we will look at the issues of adult education. We'll also that form a foundation for uh, training village health workers or other kinds of volunteers. We will then look at the process of reaching out to the community, community mobilization and involvement so that they can select their volunteers, the people that they know will serve them well and be accountable to them. We'll go through the process of uh, figuring out the training content, setting the training objectives, choosing appropriate training methods, um, also looking at all the resources and logistics necessary, and then talking about how we can manage a training program. And of course it won't stop there, we'll deal with evaluation and the importance of follow-up and continued supportive supervision so the people we train uh, will not fall by the wayside. Uh, one of the things I think it's important in this course is to recognize that most people probably have volunteered for something. Most of you who are interested in this course may have a volunteer experience or one of your friends may have had a volunteer experience. It may have been tutoring children in a school. It may have been volunteering at a local hospital or health center. And I think one of the things you may remember if it was a good experience is that there was some sort of training or orientation to provide you the skills and background on how to do the job that you were volunteering for, making sure that the volunteer work was not a full-time job, but that you had the support necessary to put in those few hours a week that were necessary to uh, help other people. And so based on this experience, uh, your own experience, we want you to think about how you can gain the skills to become a trainer. We're certainly not in this short course going to produce master trainers, but we want to help people uh, understand the steps involved, appreciate training, because many organizations these days either need training to orient their own staff, or they have programs in the community that involve training others. So this is a very important uh, skill for people to have who are working in public health, or you may be working in education or even in agriculture, but the idea of helping train volunteers and following them up is an important skill for you to possess. One of the things that's necessary to think about is the need for volunteer village health workers, community health workers, they have different names in different places. Um, and right now, for example, 100,000 villages in Africa are reached by volunteer, what we call community distributors of ivermectin to prevent river blindness. Throughout much of the tropical world, we have what we call community case management programs starting up that rely on local volunteers who can detect and treat things like malaria, pneumonia, diarrheal diseases. So this is a very important part of ongoing programs, training community health workers, and we hope to involve you in this process. So during the course, uh, you will have an opportunity either to pick something that you're working on now or could be working on to develop a simple training uh, guide, training proposal, or you can think about this in a more of a theoretical way and design something that you could use in the future. But we want to give you that opportunity to think about how you can develop learning experiences for community volunteers of various types. Uh, one of the things that's important to recognize is this course is one of three that are very important in terms of understanding community work and primary health care. 
Uh, the other two courses are Community Change in Public Health and also Health uh, for All through Primary Health Care that are being offered by Johns Hopkins. So these three courses together should put you in a very good position to have skills to working with the community, involving local people, involving local volunteers. So we help you, hope you will join us and enjoy the course. Thank you.